everybody. Um, this video is basically just kind of going to say hi and let you know my thoughts about random things, I guess. It's not a hair video, even though my hair is in the video. It is doing pretty well, as you can tell. Um, I made a video about Trayvon... Hey, excuse me, sir. Thanks. I made a video about Trayvon Martin that I did not upload because it was basically full of rambling and anger and confusion. So I will say this. <clears throat> hey, I will say this. What has happened in Florida is a clear and blatant sign that obviously racism is not over, racism is not dead. And that not only is it not dead, but we also have enablers out there. People that will sit back and just turn their face to what's going on. You know, they will literally just sit there and watch it happen. And you have to be prepared for this once you go out into the real world. There have been a lot of discussions about his actions, his clothing, George's actions and his clothing. And the main point is that Trayvon Martin is dead and George Zimmerman killed him. That's pretty much it. All the other stuff beating around the bush. It's just George Zimmerman shot Trayvon Martin. And Trayvon Martin is dead. For what? The other video that I was going to post that I decided not to basically had me rambling on about how am I supposed to have children. I'm a young virile woman and I want to have kids one day. What if I have a son? And God forbid that child is like 6'2 when he's 17 years old or even 15 years old. Can I send him outside and, and still be okay and be sure that he'll come back? That should not be a question for me to have to ponder as an African-American woman, as a person living in society, period. This is America, and I know people say that all the time. It really means nothing, but this is America. We're supposed to be a stable superpower. It's not like we're in the middle of, of the DRC, like the, the Democratic Republic of Congo, where people get snatched up and used in, in armies in some parts of the country. It's not like... We're in Zimbabwe, where I think the president is Mugabe, and he is a giant asshole. It's not like anything like that. So I don't understand why, you know what, I take that back. I do understand why we as a race, as a people, have just been marginalized to no effect. Marginalized, comped, packed down into little boxes that people just feel like setting on fire when they're bored. It's just, I mean, Apart from the Trayvon Martin story, I don't know if you guys heard about this other story where a family was, well, a son and his a father and his sons were playing basketball outside and they had a neighbor that was just randomly shooting. Hey, hey, it's not going to get any more comfortable. <laughs> just randomly shooting guns. And the father goes up to the neighbor and says, hey, you know, my kids are playing next door. Do you mind stopping? Or whatever he said to him to kind of say, can you chill on the, on the gun shooting? And the guy says, hmm, shoots him in the head. Just, just like that. I don't know if he says, get out of my face or get out of here or run. He literally just raises his gun and shoots him. So his kids are freaked the hell out, runs to the mother, mom, and she comes outside. And I guess to go see what's going on or go to talk to the guy or whatever, she gets shot and killed as well. The neighbor was white. Something like that, that's not only just racism, that's just plain old crazy. Crazy. I saw another news link on Twitter that had a, a woman, a white woman, run her 2011 Jeep Wrangler into a three-year-old, or let me not say three-year-old, into a, a, a little child, a little black child, and she was saying, you don't belong in this neighborhood, and she hits him with the car. Why do you think you guys make sense? Why do you believe that these actions are rational? Why do we believe that, ah, uh, you know what happens, it's, it's whatever. None of these things are normal. None of these things are, are safe. These are not actions of functioning human beings. And I use those two examples to also say that same with Zimmerman. You are not a, a rational human being if in your head, while you're about to kill this child for walking around wearing a hoodie, 
you say that it was you screaming on the 911 tape. Like, that's just a blatant, if you could just turn around and blatantly lie and say that the person you murdered was not screaming, but it was you that was screaming on the tape, you're a lunatic. That's crazy. Uh, there's so many things that I can say about the situation. I'm already hitting five minutes. And it'll all just boil down to one final factor. None of this has to happen. We have to stop assuming that we live in this post-racial world. I don't even know who said that in the first place, but no, not at all. But I, I read another article and I'll try to list all the articles I'm talking about down there. I read another article saying that um, <clears throat> community is the best response to outside violence. Like if you get arrested or if you're confronted by a cop and he wants to make himself feel like he's a, a bad guy that day, you know, tell him who you are, tell them what community you come from, tell them what school you go to, tell them what activities you are involved in so that they know if something happens to you, then you're gonna bring a whole shitstorm on yourself. Simple as that. Let people know that you are not some random black face walking around trying to rob people because that's what they think. That's what a lot of them think. So you have to, and, and when I say them, I mean people who, who clutched your bags when you walked by, people who follow you around in stores. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not really naming a particular race or, or people or sex or gender, just those ignorant people that believe that if you look a certain way, then that's it for you. And uh, community is a powerful thing. It's a very, very powerful thing. We are so rooted, deeply rooted in every man for himself, and this stop snitching thing and while it i can't even say it's beneficial it, it it can only get you so far and getting so far is never far enough so community is a very strong thing i would love to have i would love to live in a world where i could go outside and know everybody on the street like hey what's up miss taylor how you doing mr jackson and brother Pete and stuff like that. Like that is so amazing to me because when you have a, a community around you that supports you and loves you, nothing will happen to you. Or if it does happen to you, everyone will hear about it. Everyone will hear about it. This tremendous outpouring of support that's coming out from Trayvon, this is all community. This is what community is supposed to do. Have marches, talk, be on the news, talk to Sharpton and all of them. This is what community does. So I'm, I'm very proud of the responses it's getting, but I want to say get involved with your community, but I know that's hard, especially nowadays. Being in New York, you know, I'm not trying to know my neighbor. My neighbor downstairs keeps knocking down my door because I make noise in my bedroom. Not that kind of noise, but you know, when you drag things, apparently it was bothering her. And it it wasn't it wasn't done in a very productive way to like stop the situation. It was just like you bang on the floor, da, 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 da. So I understand that in some situations it's not easy to to talk to people and and get that community across but like i go back to my high school every once in a while and help out with my dance program just that sense of community that younger kids can have somebody else to look up to or that they're not alone or even for them to ask you a question you know what's college like what's after college like as long as you can touch somebody else who is younger than you or just somebody else that's not you or not related to you you're doing a great service you have no idea you really have no clue what you do for people so and that's my really long eight minute and 44 second message. Um, and uh, yeah, that's my, my PSA. Community is power. And, you know, let's be, be wise about situations. Um, let us, I don't want to say take responsibility for our actions because that means nothing. Because <laughs> you can't take responsibility from somebody else's actions if they want to act stupid. Uh, let us let us act wise let us tell people who we are and why they can't do just anything to us because we are very well connected individuals we are a people who have deep roots and we make deep roots wherever we go so please don't believe that you can just come out of nowhere and talk any kind of way to me do you know who you're talking to do you understand what all this is because i'll let you know in a heartbeat that's about it i'll see you guys very soon to talk about actual hair videos bye